so today we have got HNQ X70 uh, FPV racing quadcopter it is also called HN turbine available in three version FR sky fly sky and DSM you can buy this uh, at around 60 US dollar from Banggood so this is a binary fly version which means you will get a quadcopter charger battery and some extra propellers also you will get a manual as well which is helpful for your first time use it will show you binding precision and other important things so let's take a closer look at the quadcopter uh, it feels a little bit heavy in the hand you can see the LED strip on the back battery is uh, portrayed uh, vertically which is a little bit awkward and the camera in the center looks good uh, ducts feels nice and they are not uh, too much weak it can survive crashes uh, minor crashes but definitely it looks uh, better than other quadcopter in this range so as it is a binary fly version you will need to have your transmitter like our fly sky this is the cheapest transmitter for this type of quadcopters also you need to have fpv goggle with you as well like i have each in vr008 which is the cheapest fpv goggle you can buy just under 50 us dollar fpv experience is good signal reception everything so let's talk about the battery it is 600 milliampere lipo which will charge in one hour and it will give you a flight time of six minutes so you can also connect this with your computer to make some change in the software which is always a great option so in total you will need to have quadcopter remote and fpv google all these cost around 160 us dollar hey don't get so excited about this because there are a few issues with this quadcopter first of all this is an underpowered system which means it lack powers and it lack thrust so it will go up and down whenever you're flying this so you will need to keep the throttle at 80% uh, every time uh, because it does not have a great punch so don't expect something insane another thing i would like to talk about the build quality uh, the joints are very weak uh, they can break easily in a small crash so a lot of uh, repair work will be required and uh, that's pretty much about this uh, overall a great quadcopter for this price but uh, not the greatest one but you can definitely make it better by doing some modifications like changing the propellers with the Hubson one many people have done it on youtube uh, you can remove the LED strip which drains the battery very fast also you can change the battery with some other which are lighter one so that will make this quadcopter very much better so if you are interested in buying this to the link below this video you can buy it from there and i will see you next time with some other review that's it